Well, we have a big update for you on the Tucker Carlson NSA spying claims. We now know the Fox News host was talking to US, U.S.-based Kremlin intermediaries about setting up an interview with Vladimir Putin. According to reports, Carlson learned that the government was aware of his outreach, prompting those initial accusations. Right, this is a really big update. So Axios reported yesterday that Tucker was talking to U.S.-based Kremlin intermediaries about setting up an interview with Putin shortly before he accused the NSA of spying of him. U.S. government officials learned of this outreach, but that's where the details get cloudy, is what Jonathan Swan tweeted. And Jonathan Swan had the scoop in Axios. Right. What's interesting about that, though, is that the NSA is people, the media sort of swallowing the NSA's denial, which is not really a denial, it's a non-denial denial, as gospel has been fascinating to watch. But that non-denial denial, we're talking about U.S.-based Kremlin intermediaries. So this means the NSA is saying, listen, Tucker was not targeted. But basically, yeah. I mean, the NSA yeah. doesn't say that. But if you're reading the subtext and between the lines of what they do say, it's Tucker. If they're just saying Tucker isn't targeted but not commenting on whether they actually did yeah. get the information, and to, we know. And to take our own victory lap, when we, when we talked about this the day that it, that it broke, that, that was the theory that you and I put out as, as the most credible, that, right. that Tucker was talking to some foreign national and his, and his uh, communications were, were scooped up incidentally because of that communication. And that, that should be something that uh, Americans get, uh, are, are concerned about because this, this, is, this is a backdoor way that the, that the NSA and the government ends up spying on, on Americans. That's a separate question because we, 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 already, we already knew that. Uh, it turns out that, that that was the case. What's annoying here, and this, this was after the, the, the NSA had done its non-denial denial, and I've, I've done enough uh, of these kinds of stories to, to know a non-denial denial when you see one. Yes. They say, uh, you, you spied on me, you, you read my email, and they, they respond by saying, you were not a target. Right. It's like, okay, I see what you're saying there. You got me incidentally. Yeah. What's annoying here from, uh, from Tucker's perspective is, come on, Tucker, you, you could have added to the conversation that you were setting up an interview with Putin. You're a journalist. A journalist interviewing Putin is is a normal thing to do. So it's not it's not like he was trying to hide, like journal, journalistic enterprise. There's nothing wrong with that. But if if you're talking to uh, foreign nationals, uh, trying to set up an interview with Putin, the NSA is going to read your emails. Yes. Like unless you and unless you're on Signal or you're using an effective you know encryption service. Uh, Period. Like, no matter what journalist is is doing that. Now, do I think they should be doing that? No, I don't. But th that's what the current laws are. And if you want to have a, an argument about those laws, which we should, then put forward all of the facts. Uh, in, in, but maybe he was trying to bait the media into looking stupid. I, I'm curious about the strategy, but the other important element of the story is Tucker saying that they planned to use the information against him. So it's not just sort of that he was caught up incidentally in this targeting of whomever he was talking to. Um, you know, the more plausible scenario, this is according to Axios, is that one of the people Carlson was talking to as an intermediate to help him get the Putin interview was under surveillance as a foreign agent, which is exactly what Ryan just said. But then Tucker is claiming that they were trying, the NSA was going to use that information and leak it to the press, and that's what was, you know, also the added layer if of egregiousness. True. If, if, if that's true, then that's, that's certainly deeply shady and, and a whole yeah. other layer of scandal. Uh, it is interesting that, as far as we understand, Tucker says that somebody from the NSA, you know, as a whistleblower, reached out to him and said, this is, this is what's happening in, internally, uh, and, there, and there should be an IG investigation. Like, let's... Let's find out mm -hmm. what let's find out what happened here so that everybody doesn't have to just rely on Tucker Carlson because already as a narrator in this situation, he didn't he didn't put forward the obvious question. I had people who were speculating, well, maybe he, he, like reaching out and said, maybe he's in contact with Edward Snowden. And he's trying to mm -hmm. do an interview with him or or naming other like, uh, you know, foreign nationals that Tucker might have been in contact with that that could have uh, th themselves been under surveillance. And that's how he got caught up in a dragnet. And in fact, no, it's just reaching out to like Putin spokespeople. Well, come on, of course. I mean, we're obviously we're doing everything we can to surveil 
Putin and everybody everybody around him. Right, and that's where the part where Tucker says that they were trying to use it against him. And then he came out in a show last night and straight up said, oh, I'm not embarrassed to have been trying to set up an interview Nor with should Putin. He that's be. A, yeah. journal, a, a totally normal journalistic pursuit. Um, and so I, I think he's saying he was trying to, the NSA was trying to sort of cast him conspiratorially as a Russian agent, leak that to the press in some way, and that's his suspicion. And I'm, I'm guessing that came from the whistleblower. But to your point, yeah, I mean, more information would be right. extremely helpful. Um, but at the same time, the NSA, when they say, uh, they came out and they said, listen, it is not true that we were going to weaponize any information against Tucker Carlson. So they also denied that element of the story. But again, well, reading no, they between, said they're not trying to take his show off the air. Yes, they're not trying to take <laughs> his show off the air. And so you read between the lines of a denial like that, as Ryan said, which is suspiciously specific. Uh -huh. um, you can also <laughs> say that could be some you can have a rogue actor at the NSA. You can have the NSA, you know, not trying to get a show off the air, but maybe doing something else or having some other, you know, so, some sort of other motive um, involved in all of this. So their denial is very, very telling. And I just think at the bottom line is that, yes, Tucker Carlson is a journalist. He's a journalist that's in, I guess you could say, the opposition party. He's very skeptical of the NSA. He's very skeptical of the intelligence community. He's very skeptical of the current presidential administration. He's saying, and we at this point seems pretty clear, he was caught up in an NSA dragnet. And then the other part, important part of this is now what needs to be investigated. And it should be freaking a lot of people in the press out. And what the reason that an IG investigation would be important is because there ought to be some safeguards in, in place that, so that if they're surveilling, there's, and you're just not going to get Congress to say that the NSA cannot do surveillance of, of people around, you know, Russians around the orbit of Vladimir right. Putin. Like that, that you're just not going to get to that place. So what happens when you have a journalist then who's doing, you know, in the course of his or her journalism is communicating with those people? And the NSA sucks that up. There should be there should be laws around what the NSA can do with that information. If if they were mm -hmm. kicking this around the water cooler and, and and yucking it up and talking and having meetings about it, that that's deeply inappropriate and that's offensive to the free press and to the and to the First Amendment. Uh, so th th that is something that is I think worth taking a, a closer look at. No, absolutely. And actually, what we can presume is that somebody at the NSA knew about this and that's how they that's how they got to in touch with Tucker as the whistleblower so somebody at the NSA was concerned enough by what they saw and maybe that is to your point that people were talking about it and that there was some other discussion about what to do with the information um, but to your point IG investigation, get the details, figure out what happened. It's just interesting because there's going to be basically no pressure from anybody in the legacy media to go about such an investigation because they just dismiss Tucker. They're like, well, it's Tucker is crazy. Right, and if you don't do an investigation, then everybody just has to, the, the only source you have is Tucker Carlson, who has already shown that he's selectively sharing uh, information. Well, the, the other source is the NSA. And the media is then swallowing the NSA right. of the, like the source being the NSA. They're like, well, listen, the NSA said they did nothing wrong here. So with nothing to see, like, let's just move right along. Tucker's crazy Russian asset. Um, and that's how the story, it's like incredible when you, you have a, an allegation as serious as this one. It is normal that a journalist reaching out to set up an interview with Vladimir Putin would be caught up in the NSA dragnet, as you say. What is not normal is that people at the NSA would be trying to weaponize information against that they the, spying information gleaned from spying on a journalist, um, even if he wasn't the target to weaponize it for political purposes. That is a huge Which allegation. we don't have any evidence of, right, other than Tucker. Other than the fact right. that we know uh, an NSA, other than the fact that we know he, somebody at the NSA tipped him off. We know meaning, Tucker said that. Well, his sources, I'm sure his source is actually NSA. If he's, if he's going on There's the air at Fox yeah, News yeah, saying that, yeah. yeah. It could be, a, yeah, it could be a variety of people at the NSA. But that means... Although we don't know exactly what the source told Tucker. Right. No, exactly. So we don't know that. But the, the allegation is incredibly serious, and the lack of interest in it, I think, is very... And we terrible. do know Jonah Goldberg's like, claim immediately out of the gate. What do you say? Spoiler alert. Uh, Tucker Carlson was not... Uh, spied on. The NSA is not on. spying on Tucker or Carlson. They're not reading his emails. Hmm, well, yep. Jonah should delete this.
Yeah, but the, he actually defended it last night. He came out and he was like, you have to go back and look at the context of what I was saying. And this is, we've talked about this before, how there's always two layers to these stories in this, this era. You have the one layer being the substance, which is that this is a serious allegation of the NSA weaponizing information it gleaned from spying on a journalist. But secondly, the fact that you have sort of legacy media personalities immediately, right out of the gate, Taking the NSA side and dunking on the journalist speaks to an incredible rot in the press. Right. You don't, you don't get to make a dunk and then uh, when it turns out to be wrong, say, actually, I was making this nuanced point. No, make, yeah. make the nuanced point first or <laughs> delete your dunk. Get out of here. <laughs> anyway, uh, we'll have more rising for you right after this.